So if you caught my video about the Legion Go S SteamOS edition, you may have noticed me drooling at how good it is. In fact, it was so good that I decided to put SteamOS and Bazite on my original Legion Go and sell my Steam Deck. And one of the main reasons for that was because of its super hidden power, and that is that it just works now with eGPUs. Ayo Yokoso, which means welcome if you're new. I'm glad you're here because I'm gonna make this simple for you. Because as long as you have Bazite or SteamOS installed on your Windows handheld PC that has a USB 4 port, you are pretty much ready to go. So yes, that does mean it won't work for certain handhelds like the ROG Ally or Xbox Ally, but pretty much all the other handhelds that you see featured on this channel, it'll work for, with one other catch, but I'll talk about that at the end of the video. So once you have your eGPU and you have SteamOS or Bazite installed, all you need to do is go to the desktop mode, plug in the device, and there's a little pop-up that pops up in the corner that tells you to authorize the Thunderbolt device. From here, just click permanently authorize, and then once you switch back into game mode, it's pretty much just gonna work plug and play. In terms of how much more performance you get out of connecting your handheld to it, it really depends on which GPU you're connecting. For example, you can go anywhere from 50% to more than 100% if you're connecting something like a 4090M or 7800M. And here's where that catch comes in. If you're connecting a Radeon GPU, particularly an all-in-one GPU like the 1X GPU that I have pictured here or the 1X GPU 2, it should just work. But if you are doing your own makeshift DIY solution, there may be some caveats, especially if you're using an NVIDIA GPU. If you're trying to connect an NVIDIA GPU when you're using Bazite or SteamOS, you might have to check to see if someone else has had some luck. In the case of this Morphine G1, which I do have a review coming up sometime on the channel, it uses some Franken or Cook drivers, and it's really just not gonna work on Bazite or SteamOS. And in that case, you're better off with still sticking with Windows. Other than that though, it should just work. Even if you unplug it, your system is not gonna crash. And as an extra tip, did you know that you can make your game look even better by using both of your GPUs and using lossless scaling? I covered that in a previous video, this one. Either way, if you're having trouble connecting your eGPU, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you would like to see more on the channel. And while you're at it, check out my friend Nelly at Gaming Repairs on her channel or the podcast that we both share where you can get all of the handheld news and updates. Because Nelly, like myself, has definitely gotten hands on with this chipset and knowing how powerful this chip is. What, what do you think? Have they gotten, has MSI got the others by the claws now? And whatever you decide, don't forget to add the. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.